I get called out to look at woodworm all the time, but here's a really important tip I think you should know. Here you can see some flight holes. These are caused by common furniture beetles, something which people call woodworm. Now when I recently attended the property, there was lots of these beetles wandering around. And to the naked eye, it does look like a common furniture beetle. These are wood boring beetles, hence the name woodworm. Well the woodworm bit comes from the lava, but still, everyone calls it woodworm. So here you can see there's lots of beetles. They're attracted to light surfaces, or white for example. You often find them on windowsills, on top of white fridges and things like that. The best thing to do though is to put them under a microscope. That's the only way to be certain. Here you can see there's something called a biscuit beetle and then you've got the common furniture beetle. And the only way to tell the difference is to do with the heads. It's a little bump on the common furniture beetle. In this photo, the bottom one is a common furniture beetle, which is the woodworm. The top one is a drugstore beetle or biscuit beetle. This is the little fella right here on its back. Isn't it cute? So these drugstore beetles or biscuit beetles are called. They tend to like a variety of food sources, including cereal products, powdered soup, milk powder, um, and also basically you might find them like around dog, dried dog food, things like that. So the point of this video is just to say that it's really important to be able to tell the difference between these two beetles. One's a wood boring beetle that can cause lots of damage to your timber, whereas the other is more of a food pest. Both need to be dealt with in different ways, but the point is they can look very similar to the naked eye. So get a microscope and look at them properly.